Hello, how's everybody doing today? Uh, today I will be doing a review of the Samsung Chromebook uh, notebook laptop uh, that was just uh, put out by Samsung. Um, overall, uh, the build quality is fairly decent. Uh, it's pretty sturdy. Uh, it's very lightweight and um, manageable, I would say. Uh, it operates off of the Chrome browser system that Google has and um, there's a logo right there uh, it does come with uh, some ports you got some eight an HDMI port a uh, USB a couple USB ports and that right there is your uh, charging power uh, adapter port on the side it has a SD port as for an SD card right here on the side you can see that and right here is your headphone audio jack you know, pretty simple layout for what for this uh, device um, this is the charging cord power cord you know pretty standard Yeah, it's a pretty standard charging cord. Uh, the average charging time is about uh, an hour to get a full charge on this, which is very convenient for those of us uh, that need fast access to the web. What I like the most about this uh, Chromebook is it's quick startup. So even if you were power down completely shut down you just open it and it'll start right up uh, every time I haven't had an issue with it um, it brings you to this screen where you enter your password so I'm gonna enter my password real quick for my Google account and then it takes you to the startup screen which is the same thing it's pretty simple you know um, no fancy no fancy thing about this um, as you can see this is my desktop it doesn't take any uh, Microsoft applications it all the applications are off of Google so you're gonna miss some of those if you guys are used to you know using Microsoft Word or PowerPoint Microsoft Office and things like that Windows um, does not apply here okay on the bottom right scroll down over here and this is my settings tab it tells you everything I need to know um, if you can see right now um, I have about three hours and 45 minutes on my battery life it says 61 percent of the settings and the network here we go this is the network right here mm, the Bluetooth is disabled volume pretty simple stuff this is where you turn your power on and off to uh, and that's pretty much about it over here on the bottom left we have a couple of quick launch applications that are implemented on your startup screen this right here is your web browser your mail gmail we have a google search tab youtube this launches quick content YouTube and the apps. I'm gonna hit the apps button. Okay. So here I have all the apps that are installed. Most of these came standard with the Chromebook. Um, you know, Gmail, Scratchpad, Google Maps, all this stuff. It runs off of the the browser directly into the browser. We have a files. Here's a second tab. It goes to my camera and music stuff like that calculator the camera is pretty cool it does have a webcam it's not the best webcam out there but as you can see you know it's pretty decent for what you're playing for this Chromebook um, like I said um, the best part of this this device is the price I got mine for 249 and um, it is very it is a very 
convenient and practical um, I would say little laptop you know I, I'm gonna use it I'm going to use it for school purposes and I'm right now I'm at a university so it's gonna be doing a lot of homework and things of that nature okay let's go right into if you hit the browser button you can go straight into the Chrome browser and the tabs and uh, it does have the tab option like Internet Explorer if you guys have used Chrome before then you're familiar with this you can open up as many tabs as you want um, you do not have a caps lock button on this keyboard so you do have to use the shift button that was um, kind of one of the downfalls of the keyboard the keyboard itself is kind of like an island type keyboard no backlit light or anything like that but it um, the feel is very nice it's very uh, I don't know um, compared to other keyboards I like I like I don't I don't mind the feel of this I haven't had any issues with it um, so here you go that's for the keyboard a lot there's a lot of shortcuts on the keyboard itself like let me see if I can try to zoom in here see I have a pot the power button the volume button we have the contrast buttons monitors all that stuff refresh back everything you would have on your internet browser uh, toolbar pretty much and yeah that's pretty much it the the mouse pad is not it's a little small here's my hand it's smaller than my hand but it's, it's it works it works good so here we go okay one of the downsides of this device is that it only comes with 16 gigs of memory on the hard drive but you do have the option to go to the cloud on Google Play on your Google Drive if you guys have a Google account you're gonna have to, if you don't have one you're gonna have to create one so you can get one of these but you click on this drive oops this is your Google Drive once you have your you're signed into your account and this is what it looks like and you have a hundred gigs of memory space on the cloud which is awesome and convenient now you can create different types of files via this cloud you can do a just a regular document PowerPoint presentations spreadsheets drawings folders whatever apps you may you know browse and get for yours for your uh, personalized one but what's cool about this is if you create a document on here you can save it as a word document so if you open it up on another on another computer that does have windows and microsoft office then you can open up whatever you created here whether it be a pre powerpoint presentation or a word document or spreadsheet on microsoft office so that was very convenient and very useful okay i'm just going to show you real quick a shortcut one of the shortcuts um like i do like i'll try to save images from from the web uh, let's just do a random image here let's do a lion images oops all right lion so i'm gonna pull up a picture of a lion i'm gonna say i like that i want to save it for whatever whatever reason we're gonna go to the full size image oh. okay so you get a full size image of whatever you're trying to save and then the shortcut to this is gonna be you hold down control and press S and it's gonna save it under your files it's gonna ask you what do you want to save it as I'm gonna say lion press enter and it is saved so now you have that image saved to your hard drive you go to apps you go to your files and you have a lion open up 
and that's it. And save to you. You could be offline, have access to these files, all that stuff. All that stuff. So that's pretty much it. It's very simple, very convenient, very easy to use. Inexpensive. Um, I love mine, and I plan to uh, put in a lot of use, a lot of uh, for the university, like I said before. And just to show you how quick it is, I'm gonna shut it down. It's gonna turn off here in a couple of seconds. Completely shut down. Okay. So then I put it away, and then every time I open it up, boom, it's on. And it goes to your startup screen again. So again, this is the Chromebook, the new Chromebook by uh, Samsung. Um, very convenient, very useful, lightweight, sturdy, pretty good built. Love it. I hope you guys liked the video. Leave any comments. If you guys have any questions about it, I will try to answer them. And uh, thank you.